we are doing carbon and its compounds and today we will be doing functional group and how different uh, hydrocarbon containing functional group are given specific name and what are the different type of compounds form so to understand the basic concept of uh, functional group let us have a very simple example of a hydrocarbon so i'm writing here uh, an alkane and uh, an alkane with two carbon atom for two carbon we write the name as ethane so this compound is ethane because there are two carbon atom and all bonds are single bond now this ethane or alkane is very less reactive and uh, it is inert under most of the normal condition very rarely it reacts okay so uh so for example what we do we replace one of the hydrogen of this ethane and we in place of that hydrogen we add a halogen atom okay this reaction is called as substitution reaction so what we are doing we are removing one of the hydrogen of this compound and in place of this hydrogen we are adding a chlorine atom okay this is a very photosensitive reaction and this takes place in the presence of sunlight it is one of the very few reaction with which alkane undergo so what we found uh, after the reaction that one or more hydrogen can be replaced by chlorine so i am showing here removal of one hydrogen therefore i am putting here one chlorine atom this new class of compound which are formed they are called as haloalkane and these are reactive compound okay so this change in nature from a very less reactive this alkane was very less reactive to a very uh, reactive compound why it happened it is because of the displacement of this hydrogen by a chlorine okay so in this case this atom which has uh, replaced or substituted hydrogen and has formed a new class of compound called as haloalkane this uh, uh, halogen is acting as a functional group okay so Uh, let us have idea about functional group uh, in hydrocarbon when carbon form bond with elements like halogen like fluorine chlorine bromine okay like in our case it is forming with chlorine oxygen nitrogen sulfur okay these uh, atoms like all these atoms are called as what they are called as hetero atoms uh, we can underline this these are called as uh, hetero atoms like halogen and all these atoms are called as hetero atom so when um, any hydrocarbon forms bond with the these hetero atoms uh, one or more hydrogen of hydrocarbon can be replaced by hetero atom and what is the result of this result of this is uh, a functional group is formed and a functional group is a hetero atom or are a group of atom containing hetero atom which give a specific property to the compound okay so what we have seen here in our case hetero atom is this halogen chlorine which make this compound very reactive earlier the compound was very less reactive so this uh, hetero atom that is chlorine is acting as a functional group here this hetero atom is one atom it may be a group of atom we will see it later so this is functional group i hope it is clear you have to remember the different type of hetero atoms which can replace hydrogen suppose any functional group is uh, introduced now one thing which is very important to remember here is that this hetero atom will decide the property of compound like here this chlorine is deciding the property of compound and it will not be affected by the length and nature of carbon chain whether carbon chain is a straight chain or a branch chain or a cyclic compound whatever is the type of hydrocarbon and whatever is the length of carbon chain 
it will not affect the chemical property of the compound who will decide the chemical property functional group okay how reactive is the functional group what is the nature of atom introduced that will decide the chemical property so this is functional group so it it means what whenever a functional group is attached in any hydrocarbon the whole idea of chemical reactivity changes and chemical reactivity will revolve around functional group so functional groups are very important now in your syllabus the functional groups which are uh, there uh, we have this table uh, the same as given in your ncrt book as we discuss a hetero atom may be like chlorine or bromine or it may be oxygen okay when chlorine and bromine is a hetero atom single atom of hydrogen is replaced by single atom of chlorine or bromine and the compound which are formed are called as chloroalkane or bromoalkane okay and the functional group in this case is what is the functional group functional group is chlorine with one free valency and bromine with one free valency now point which is important to remember here is this one that uh, we are showing this dash type of thing before the symbol of chlorine and bromine what is this so a free valency or an unsatisfied valency is shown by this line that means this atom can form one bond one of its valency is free and you remember we have shown such type of valency in case of methyl group when one hydrogen of methane was replaced so this dash is showing free valency means it can form one bond okay and when it can form one bond these functional groups are very reactive second is when halogen in uh, sorry when oxygen is the hetero atom in that case the first class of compound which are formed are alcohol and they have symbol oh and uh, second class of compound which are formed uh, are aldehyde they have formula coh or cho ketone they have co group and carboxylic acid which have cooh group okay don't get confused by these group we will discuss how they are formed and what is their nature okay simply you have to remember what is the idea that if alcoholic group is present it means oh group is present if aldehyde is there cho group or coh group is present if ketone is there then a co group is present and if carboxylic acid is present we have cooh group so we have four class of compound where hetero atom is oxygen but it is in combination with hydrogen okay so these are the functional group you have to remember this table that is you have to remember what are the class of compound alcohol aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid and the first one is what haloalkane so first is haloalkane then alcohol aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid this part you have to remember okay now i will explain one by one the structure of functional group with different examples so that it will be clear for you like for first one i have written here ch3 ch2 cl okay as i told you you can understand here by this structure which is condensed structure formula or you can open up the compound so if we open up the compound it has got two carbon atom and the valencies are satisfied with hydrogen except one of the valency of carbon is satisfied by by chlorine so in this case functional group is chlorine and this class of compound what is the class of compound this is chloro alkane okay next next class of compound here in this case here the group which is present we can open up the chain so it is three carbon compound and we are having hydrogen atoms attached on the terminal one but the middle one is having one hydrogen and uh, one bromine so in this case functional group present is your bromine okay so name name of this compound is bromo alkane and bromine is the 
functional group now next class of the compound here if we open up the structure we can show one carbon where three hydrogens are attached so we write it as like this ch3 then we have carbon okay and this carbon is having two oxygen one oxygen forms a double bond with carbon second oxygen forms a single bond uh, with carbon and this forms a single bond with hydrogen okay so here the functional group present is this group this group is the functional group and uh, in condensed form the same group can be written as coh so both are correct either we write this way or that way and this class of compound when we have coh group they are what carboxylic acid this is an carboxylic acid when cooh group is present it is a carboxylic acid next one we open up the structure again and we write ch3 here then we have a carbon then we have carbon with three hydrogen again but the middle carbon is having an oxygen and see here this carbon is forming two bond carbon is tetravalent so two more are bond are to be formed therefore these two bonds are formed with oxygen okay so in this case functional group uh, present is this one and it is in condensed formula it is shown like this this class of compound which are having co group in the middle and alkyl group on either side see here this is one of the alkyl group and this is one of the alkyl group in the center we have co group fine so this class of compounds are called as ketone this is a ketone now the next one we have ch3 again okay and uh, we have next carbon as uh, CHO so how to write the CHO we will write carbon oxygen double bond and carbon hydrogen single bond and here a functional group present is this one and this class of compound is called as mm -hmm. aldehyde now what is important to remember in these two class of compounds ketone and aldehyde okay in case of ketone we have co group this one in case of aldehyde also we have co group but the difference is that in ketone on either side of the co we have alkyl group while in aldehyde on one side we have alkyl group and one side we have hydrogen atom okay so this is all about three class of the compound we will learn we'll give them uh, IUPAC name when we will understand the rules how to name these compound okay next topic is homologous series what is homologous series so homologous series is a series of compound with same functional group and similar chemical property like for example we make a table of all alkanes so that will be homologous series of what alkane so series of compound with same functional group and similar chemical property so let us have one example like for example we have a homologous series of alcohol okay for example uh, we have homologous series of alcohol so what we have the first alcohol is ch3oh fine next member after this is c2h5oh next member is c3h7oh and so on we will write down all the members so this is homologous series of what this is homologous series of alcohols and here we are having the same functional group what is the functional group here oh here oh here oh here fine next idea all members of homologous series can be represented by same general formula so all members can be replaced uh, can be given by or they can be represented by same general formula like for example uh, for alcohol have general formula as uh, 
सी एन एच टू एन प्लस वन एंड देन प्लस ओ एच ओके सो वॉट एवर इज द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम्स इन द कंपाउंड ट्वाइस द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन इज द नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन प्लस वन एक्स्ट्रा हाइड्रोजन एंड प्लस ओ एच ग्रुप ओके सो ऑल दीज मेंबर्स कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन चेक द फॉर्मूला इट इज बीइंग फॉलोड इन दीज एग्जांपल्स और नॉट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट सक्सेसिव मेंबर डिफर बाय सी एच टू यूनिट दैट इज दिस सी एच टू यूनिट इज कॉल्ड एज मिथाइलिन ग्रुप प्लीज रिमेंबर वेन एवर वी आर गेटिंग सच टाइप ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल टर्म्स वॉट इज मिथाइलिन सो यू शुड नो वॉट इज मिथाइलिन मिथाइलिन ग्रुप इज नथिंग बट सी एच टू यूनिट that means two valencies of methane are free two hydrogens are removed remember we have written here when one valency free it is called as methyl group but when two are free it is called as methylene group okay so let us compare a successive member in our example uh for, let us take the first one first member is ch2oh and uh, sorry ch3oh and second member is uh, c2h5oh okay c2h5oh fine so if we compare these two here we are having one carbon and here we are having two carbon so the difference between these two will be what there is a difference of one carbon atom now the first one is having three hydrogen and here five so how many hydrogen are there in this case uh, what is the sorry difference of number of hydrogen 5 minus 3 will be 2 okay so these two member differ by what ch2 group so this is what is the meaning successive member differ by ch2 group next point successive member differ in molecular mass by 14 atomic mass unit how is it we have seen any two member differ by this ch2 group so let us find out what is the mass of this ch2 group for uh, ch2 group carbon has got mass what 12 atomic mass unit and hydrogen has got mass one atomic mass unit and there are two hydrogen atoms okay so if we write down this 12 atomic mass unit plus two atomic mass unit this will give you 14 atomic mass unit so what is the gap between the two in terms of number of carbon atom that will be in the reflected in the mass also next is successive member show gradation in physical property there is a slight change in physical property uh, chemical properties will be same but there is a slight change in physical property why what is the reason reason for this is with increase uh, increasing molecular mass melting point and boiling point for example changes why because as molecules become bigger and bigger their intermolecular forces changes okay therefore physical properties uh, show a change slight change that is their boiling point or melting point increases due to increasing molecular mass but chemical properties will remain same why because all have same functional group all members show similar chemical property okay why because they have same functional group this is all about homologous series uh, but for homologous series you should remember this definition that is a series of compound with same functional group and similar chemical property now here i have uh, shown uh, different type of homologous series uh, in case of alkane alkene and alkyne and as well as alcohols also in the last column we have alcohols also so first one is for uh, alkane so for alkane have a look here these are the members like methane ethane propane butane pentane and so on in alkene they these are the members these are alkynes and these is uh, homologous series of alcohol in this case what is important for you to remember is the 
this one their general formula for alkane general formula is c n h 2 n plus 2 where n represent the number of carbon atoms okay so for alkene general formula is c n h 2 n and for alkyne general formula is c n h 2 n minus 2 in case of when we have any functional group and we are replacing one hydrogen so for alkene the formula which was originally plus 2 it will become plus 1 therefore c n h 2 n plus 1 and o h as in case of alcohol so you should remember these uh, uh, a general formula of different class of the compound but basically all formulas are derived from mainly alkanes okay so remember uh, how we have uh, different uh, carbon and hydrogen atom in case of alkane now we will learn how to name these compounds which are having functional group previously we have learned naming of high simple hydrocarbon but here we will learn those hydrocarbon how to name them which have functional group previously alkanes were given a parent name but uh, when any functional group is there in that case parent name is modified parent name is given a prefix okay uh, or it is uh, given a suffix depending upon what type of functional group is present okay so if functional group is there then parent name is given either a prefix or a prefix that is something is added before the name of parent uh, compound this is parent name for example so something is added either before the name or something is added after the name of the compound we will see in which case we will add before and in which case we have uh, we will add after while parent name will show you the uh, only the carbon chain that is what type of carbon chain we are having so the first rule first we have to write down the structure uh, as i told you previously very first idea is that write down the open structure of the compound and then identify number of carbon atom okay and these number of uh, carbon atom will give you what they will give you the parent name okay so we will write down first what the parent name now after writing the parent name then we will identify the functional group which is present okay after this when we identify the functional group then we number the chain from the side as to give lowest position to the double bond or triple bond or a functional group one thing uh, you remember we have not uh, discussed here in the table but remember that double bond and the triple bond they are also very reactive therefore they make compound reactive as a result they are also counted as functional group so whether any hetero atom is present or a double or triple bond is present it will change the reactivity of compound and therefore preference will be given to these so we'll number the chain from the side as to give preference to double bond triple bond or functional group here we will not look for lowest sum or lowest position fine so no importance is given to alkyl group whatever position is there for any alkyl group we are not bothered about that next point in unsaturated hydrocarbon an is in parent name is replaced by in or ein parent name as we discuss we write parent name as uh, this parent name is written as l cane okay so this parent name an is replaced and we add in or ein if it is alkene or alkyne right so, okay now uh, last point if functional group is present as uh, uh, suffix okay how to do that that if functional group is present then we have to give the suffix in that case what we will do the parent name e of the parent name will be removed and in place of that we will add a suffix okay but point uh, to remember here is that 
we will be removing e only when your uh, uh, functional group starts with a vowel with the alphabet which is a vowel if it is not starting with a vowel then we will not remove e so how it is applicable we will apply this in case of different example i am again repeating if functional group if functional group is present then we have uh, and if in that case we have to add a suffix so how to add a suffix what we do e of alkane will be removed and in place of that a suffix is added e will remove will be removed only when the name of functional group start with a vowel if it is not starting with a vowel then we will retain this e so let us apply this one by one so that it will be clear in the in case of uh, different class of the compound so the first one uh, is hello alkane in a, in case of hello alkane the prefix which is added is what prefix is hello okay like if it is chlorine then we write chloro and if it is bromine we write it as bromo and the name of the class of compound is hello alkane fine so we have done one example uh, previously so i am writing here that example this uh, ch3ch2cl okay this is one of the example and one more example was there ch3 ch ch3 and br so what we are doing here in this case this compound is having functional group what is the functional group here functional group here is chlorine and here it is bromine fine and how many carbon atoms two carbon atoms so we will number the chain and from we will number the chain from the side functional group is getting lowest position so this is first carbon and this is second carbon fine in this case we can number either right or left it will not make any difference so it is 1 2 3 so what is the name of the first compound it is written as either uh sorry it is written as chloro for cl and the name is ethane why we are writing chloroethane why because we are adding in case of hello hello alkene we add a prefix we discuss that functional group can be present as prefix or suffix so here we are adding as a prefix that is uh, before the name of the compound so it is chloroethane i am not writing here one or two why because only two carbons are there if we are putting your chlorine here then this will be first carbon if i am putting this chlorine here then this will be carbon because we have to give priority we will number the chain from that very side now the second compound this compound is having three carbon atom and uh, when we have three carbon atom the parent name will be what propane and on the second carbon we are having bromine so we write it as 2 bromo propane okay why we are writing 2 bromo 2 bromo is the prefix added it shows that a bromine atom is present on second carbon or the middle carbon okay so hello alkanes are be named with the help of prefix and uh, the later part that we are having here this part in this case this part sorry this part uh, here and this part here both are the parent name so here we are adding a prefix next is alcohol in case of alcohol we are not adding prefix we are adding what we will be adding a suffix and what is the suffix suffix is all okay so what we will do we will remove e of alkane and we will add suffix ol all you have to remember this and one of the example we will write down here like here ch3 ch2 
then again CH2 and OH. So this is the class of compound. First, we will identify the chain or the parent chain. What is the parent chain? This is your parent chain. How many carbon atom? Three carbon atom. When three carbon atom are there, so the parent chain, uh, I'm highlighting here parent chain. This parent chain is what will give you the parent name as propane, right? And the functional group present in our case is OH, that is alcoholic group. So we have to add what? We have to add all to this propane plus all. So the name of this compound is propanol. Why? Because we will eliminate E from it. And why we are eliminating E? Because name of this group is, is starting with O, which is a vowel. So E will be replaced. If suppose it is not a vowel, then we will retain E. Okay. So name of this compound is propanol. You have to remember suffix in each case. Next is aldehyde. In case of aldehyde, your suffix is Al, A L. Remember, don't get confused. For alcohol, it is all. For aldehyde, it is Al. And uh, let us write down uh, the one of the structure. Uh, like for example, C H three and C H O. This C H three C H O can be written as C H three C double bond O H. Okay, or it can be written in few books like this, CH3CH double bond O. All are same. Simply we are twisting the bonds. That's it. All are same compound. So here how many carbon atoms? Sorry. The parent chain is having how many carbon atoms uh, here? Uh, one carbon of alkyl and one carbon of uh, your functional group. And the functional group is given the preference. That is, it is the first carbon. But since here only two atoms are there, so we'll not write down the number. And what is the name of this compound? Uh, two carbon compound means ethane. And uh, E of ethane will be removed. And what we will add here? Al. Okay, in previous case, what we have added, we have added all for the alcohol. So, the name of this compound will be ethanol. Okay, next, ketone. In case of ketone, the suffix will be on. Okay, and the same rule is applied. E will be replaced by on. So, we will write down a structure as CH3, COCH3. This is one of the example previously we did. So, it can be written as CH3, C double bond O, CH3. Both are same. Fine. In this case, your uh, uh, chain will be considered as, that is total number of carbon atoms will be Three. That is carbon of functional group will be included as we have included carbon of functional group in this case. Yeah. So, sorry. So, what we have, how many carbon atoms here? We are having three carbon atom. So, for three carbon atom, we write propane. And then E of propane will be removed and we are adding on. Okay. So, name of compound is propanone. Fine. Next class of compound is carboxylic acid. In case of carboxylic acid, suffix will be oic acid. And the same rule is applied. Uh, so, to understand this, we, I am writing here a very simple example. We I am writing here CH3COOH. It is the simplest uh, carboxylic acid we use in day-to-day -day life. That is acetic acid or vinegar. And uh, we can write this structure as carbon. It is forming double bond. 
then we have OH group. Okay, in this case, again, the chain will be the chain containing carbon of the functional group. And since two carbon atoms are there, therefore, we write it as a derivative of ethane. Then we remove E and we are adding oic acid. So the compound will be what? Compound is ethanoic acid. A common name of ethanoic acid is acetic acid or in our day-to-day -day life it is called as vinegar okay so this is ethanoic acid you have to remember all these rules that is in which case uh, suffix is added in which case prefix is added now come to the question given in ncrt that is uh, on page number 68 and 69 the first question how many structural isomers you can draw for pentane? This part we have already done when we discussed structural isomer. For pentane, we can have three structural isomers. And what are these structural isomers for pentane? The first structure is this. I am writing here condensed formula. We have done earlier under the heading structural isomer, the uh, uh, structural formula of this compound. The first one is, this is N-pentane, okay. Second one is this one, CH3CH, CH2CH3. This is the one with a branch. This is isopentane and the third one is CH3CCH3. CH3 and we have CH3. This is neopentane. So these are the isomer. This is N pentane. This is isopentane. And this is neopentane. These are three structural isomers of your pentane. Next question. What are the properties of carbon which lead to the large number of carbon compound as we see around? You have to write down this answer in detail. Um, the properties are, first property is catenation. That is self-linking property to form the chain. And the second property is tetravalency. So you have to explain these two. And explanation we have done already under the heading uh, versatile nature of carbon. So you can write the content from here, from there. That is, you have to explain what is uh, catenation and what is tetravalency. Okay. Next question. Uh, sorry. Uh, what will be the formula and electron dot structure of cyclopentane? Cyclopentane. Uh, formula. First, we will write down the formula. Then, we will show the electron dot structure. Uh, formula will be what? Cyclopentane is... Uh, pentane means 5 carbon. It is C5H10. This is molecular formula. Okay, and if we uh, draw the structure, it is like this carbon, carbon, we have carbon atom and we have carbon atom. These are and each carbon is having two bonds with two hydrogen atoms. Okay, and if we want to show the electron dot structure, so first we will draw the carbon atoms. We are having five carbon atoms here okay and each carbon is having how many electrons it is having four electrons so this is first second third fourth same we will do for each carbon atom each carbon it is having one two three four one two three four one two three four Okay, hydrogens are having one one electron. So this is one hydrogen with one electron. Here we have hydrogen. Same we have hydrogen here. 
uh, here we have hydrogen and now we will show the sharing each carbon will share one one electron from the neighboring hydrogen that is two hydrogen atom and uh, it will share uh, uh, one electron uh, of uh, neighboring carbon on one side and one electron of neighboring carbon on other side so in doing so have a look here in the red circle we are having how many electron sorry we have not taken hydrogen so we are we should have eight electrons so two electron of hydrogen also we have to take in the circle so we, what we originally for two from carbon two from hydrogen eight electron same is the idea for every carbon atom so the for the next one we will having this idea okay this is how second carbon is satisfied now this is how third carbon is satisfied and then the so on the fourth one and then we have the fifth one okay every red circle is having eight electron now for the hydrogen each hydrogen will share one electron of the carbon and it will be getting noble gas configuration of the helium okay so each hydrogen will be getting two electron this is how cyclopentane is formed draw structure of the following compound next question and the first compound is ethanoic acid okay ethanoic we can break the name of this compound in two part ethane ethane means two carbon atom it is a, a two carbon compound and oic is oic means what it is a carboxylic acid so two carbon compound which is a carboxylic acid so one carbon com this is was first carbon and second carbon out of these two one carbon should be carboxylic acid carbon so this is cooh and this carbon rest of the valencies will be satisfied by hydrogen so this is ethanoic acid next is bromopentane here we are having a prefix yes your uh, functional group is of prefix no so bromine is present and the parent compound in this case parent compound is what pentane pentane means what c5 so we will show five carbon atom one two three four five fine and then we have bromine since they have not mentioned where bromine is present we are putting it on terminal carbon but we can place it somewhere else also now rest of the valencies of other carbon are satisfied by hydrogen atom okay you have to be very careful whatever is the structure whatever is the compound every carbon has to form four bonds okay so this is bromopentane next is butanone now in this case again the functional group is this one functional group is on okay and the parent compound is this one butane and butane means what c4 compound okay so therefore we will write down four carbon atom one two three four now when we have on in case of on we are having which group we are having co group okay like here for bromo we were having bromine right so how we write one of the carbon always remember for ketone that is on your functional carbon cannot be the terminal one it has to be the uh, any other carbon but not the terminal carbon so we will form like this this is 
functional carbon now rest of the carbon will have their valency if you look into this carbon which is functional carbon it was already forming two bonds with neighboring carbon two bonds are formed with oxygen so it is satisfied therefore we will show bonds on other carbon to satisfy tetravalency so this is the structure fine this is butanone always remember your in case of ketonic group cannot be terminal one cannot be the terminal carbon okay we cannot have ketonic group uh, on terminal carbon fine so this is butanone next one is hexanal now in this case functional group is al and your parent chain is or, it, or it, uh, the it is obtained from hexane hexane means c6 so we will write 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 carbon next al means it is aldehyde and aldehydic carbon is the terminal carbon so we will put co here okay next we will satisfy rest of the valency here one valency is free which is sorry left which is hydrogen here two are left two here two here two here two here and three here what is important to remember in this case in this case thing to remember is that aldehyde group is always terminal one terminal okay it is just reverse of the previous idea fine so this is hexane null so you have to remember that if uh, al is there it is aldehyde if on is there it is ketone if uh, halo is there it is halogen and if oic acid is there it is a carboxylic acid now we have to name next question is how would you name the following compound the first one in the first case uh, your uh, parent chain is this one sorry parent chain is this one and it is two carbon compound so therefore for two carbon we write ethane we have functional group as your bromine so for halogen we write what prefix so it is named as bromoethane fine after this what is this compound it seems very confusing but what is this compound we can write this compound like this also carbon with a double bond with a hydrogen on this side also is a hydrogen have a look here compare this compound with this group here and with this group here this is basically aldehyde group but what we have on the other side we do not have any carbon chain so how to name this compound we have one carbon so for one carbon uh, only one carbon we write name as it is the derivative of methane okay now from methane we remove e and for aldehyde group that is this group we write the suffix as al so the name of compound is methanol okay next one here the carbon chain is this one and this carbon chain is having a triple bond now we told you uh, that uh, whenever double or triple bond is present it is also treated as a functional group we will give preference to the double or triple bond so we will number the chain from the side where functional group is present therefore we'll number the chain from right hand side it is one 
six carbon atom are there therefore the compound is derived from uh, your base word hex and since there are is a triple bond we have triple bond so uh, after hex we will write ion so the name of this compound is hexine but it will not serve the purpose your double bond is starting from which carbon double bond is starting from the first carbon okay therefore we will write it as one hexine or it is writ written as hex one ion both are correct okay one is written to mention that double bond is starting from first carbon therefore we have written one here this is all for today we will continue this